Sarcomas are relatively rare cancers. You know, in the United States, there's about 10 to 15,000 new sarcoma diagnoses a year. This is in contrast to more than 250,000 breast cancer diagnoses per year in the United States. And sarcoma is a heterogeneous group. So even though we consider them all part of the sarcoma family, they can be everything from soft tissue sarcomas to bone sarcomas to cancers of blood vessels. And so we've struggled to come up with consistent kind of theories and recommendations. One thing we have seen is with the advent of limb sparing surgeries for sarcomas, we've had our radiation evolve. Initially, we often gave surgery radiation after surgery, and then more recently before surgery, but it was still radiation every day for five to six weeks. And so what we see in this um, sarcoma session at the uh, Astro annual meeting is a rethinking of sarcoma radiation therapy. First, there was a prospective study done at MD Anderson Cancer Center that looked at really reducing the length of radiation therapy from five weeks to three weeks. And these initial outcomes were very promising. They were looking at wound complications as the primary endpoint. And they showed that based on historical controls, the wound complication rate was similar um, with this 15 treatment regimen as compared to the 25. We'll still need more follow-up to look at the kind of overall cancer recurrence. The other big study looking at shortening radiation was a follow-up of three trials that looked at delivering the radiation before surgery and five treatments. Um, and these you know, studies have been published previously and had some concern about higher rates of local recurrence, almost 19%, um, as compared to less than 10 with these more uh, modern five to six week regimens. Um, but what this study showed is that there are differences in terms of the patterns of failures and that certain cancers may, for example, called myxoid liposarcomas may have a better, better control with this five treatment regimen. And this is consistent with data from other series showing that sometimes higher doses in five treatments may be associated with higher rates of local control, though further study is needed. The final part of the sarcoma session was rethinking metastatic sarcoma. Uh, metastatic sarcoma patients are often considered for chemotherapy, but we're not as aggressive with, you know, quote unquote, local therapy to metastatic sites. The study that was published was a review of, of about 70 patients who had had radiation to the lungs using stereotactic radiation for lung metastases. And what it showed is not only excellent local control of those spots that were treated with stereotactic radiation, but really in the patients who had the other systemic disease controlled, really pretty good outcomes long-term when you were able to treat them. So not only does it show us the efficacy of treating these patients that have metastatic disease to the lungs, but it helps us pick the patients that may be at most benefit from receiving that treatment.